Well, I eat here three, four times a week. Delicious meals. I've never had a bad one. They're always nice and hot. Teresa Golding Sullivan is one of the familiar faces at the Friendship Center in Petoskey. She and dozens of her fellow seniors visit each day for a free lunch. But keeping up with the busy lunch hour may become more difficult when the automatic spending cuts kick in. To have federal cuts for these two important nutrition programs, in addition to losses we've already sustained, um, would be significant for those programs. And this will affect all of the nutrition programs that councils and Commission on Aging and other organizations provide throughout the whole state of Michigan. The executive director of the Friendship Centers of Emmett County tells 7 and 4 News that their four senior centers expect a loss of nearly $10,000. Over the last decade, the senior population has grown almost 30 percent in Emmett County. The demand for these programs has gone up, but the funding hasn't, and the center has already stretched their funds as far as they will go. I don't know how we're going to continue to serve the uh, in incredible increases in numbers of these folks um, and continue to try and do so on less money. In addition to the free lunch program, the center also delivers dozens of meals to homebound seniors who are part of the Meals on Wheels program. Teresa Golding Sullivan has friends who benefit from this program. And she says programs like these are essential to help the growing senior community. I don't know what these people would do if they couldn't get meals on wheels, you know, because they can't get out, they're homebound. 